So today is really about uh, optical imaging, and I want to go over the core concept of optical imaging technique. So first, I want to discuss about what is optical imaging. In fact, what is imaging? In fact, uh, so start with the general concept that what is imaging to us? Imaging is an act to figure out the spatial uh, geometry or morphology of the object outside of the world and to make it sense to us. For us, we have a sensor called eyes and retina. So that is a kind of a screen. We want to have the object form exactly uh, spatial organization will be mapped onto our retina to be able to recognize the outside of the world. So if I want to make that into this <laughs> diagram, you can see, let's assume there's a tiger outside, which is because we have to pay attention. How do we see this tiger in onto our retina so such that we can recognize uh, the tiger, which may be a danger for us if we are in the wild, uh, uh, wild space. So then you can think of there are always lights, ambient light, which is coming. And then each of the tigers on object point, <clears throat> the light will interact and it will scatter out. Remember scattering is a uh, uh, photon and deviate, not only photon, kind of the, the particles deviate when it hits with an inhomogeneity. So there comes the scattering from one point. And somehow, if they, those scattered light is in imaging space, if those scattered light will focus down to point another point, which is a point, point mapping in space. Let's say another point also focus down to the another point corresponding. In this case, it's kind of flipped, but let's assume that doesn't really matter. Then we can have one to one mapping and so that we can understand in imaging space what's actually seeing what's the out there in the object space. So this is concept of a uh, imaging. Okay. So in fact, imaging is a this scattering process has to be somehow to turn into a focusing process in a manner that you can have a spatial relationship. So for this, in optical imaging case, we do need some optics or optical elements to undo the effect of scattering. Uh, and in free space, we should focus the light. So this is concept of what we call as an imaging. For that, uh, we need to seek out what kind of optical uh, element we can actually focus it down. So, what, and also the property of the light interact with an optical element. So for that, the basic one is its reflection and refraction at an interface when a wave uh, interacts. In this case, of course, light. So you already learned about this from previous years, I believe. So there's an interface. We have refractive index of N1 entering into N2. And let's assume we have instance light, which is oblique angle then what can happen is, I said, at the interface, some will be reflected and some will be refracted and transmitted, but the angle will be changing. And if you think about the boundary condition of this electromagnetic wave, you will find out the reflection angle will be the same. This is so called famous law of reflection. What about the transmitted wave? So you can think of this as having N2, let's assume N2 is bigger than N1. What that means is the wave will slow down. So if we have a, a kind of a uh, wheel, two, two wheel elements going in and the, this part will slow down. So the wheel will uh, change this direction and going this way. So this phenomenon is a uh, refraction and that relationship can be easily computed by calculating 
the speed of light change with respect to a different um, refractive index. And that comes out, turns out to be n times sine theta has to be uh, conserved. This is so famous that the law of refraction, and you, you already heard this is the so-called Snell's law. So what it here means by previous uh, class time, as I said, the wave tend to bend the toward with higher refractive index needed. Here you see the waves going, and then it meets an interface because this is high refractive index, it bend toward the high refractive index. And this can explain uh, mirage and looming effects uh, from last time so that you can actually understand this. Of course, there are other ways how to explain this. So for example, let's say this is a, an ocean and this is a land. Let's say there's a, 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 a guy here uh, watching. If someone is uh, uh, swimming and, uh, and lost and dying, so how this guy will, um, will go to this person to save him or her, the way, uh, the problem is this is an ocean. It's swimming speed is mostly slower than running speed. Then the guy has to find an optimal path to reach the minimizer time so that the speed of V1 and V2 are known and you can find this path. And that actually gives this interesting snare as well. So this is a very interesting phenomenon. If you think about this, how to derive this, and there is a very interesting ways of interpretation of this scenario. Now, the phenomenon I said about imaging is really an object has to be onto our retina so that we can make a uh, sense of this imaging space out of this object space. So we said the light has to scatter from a point and it has to focus to the point of this uh, imaging space. So that, uh, this is kind of our eye. In fact, we have a lens inside our eye. This is exactly how it works. So there's an object that's a green light is the light emitting from or scattered from this arrow head. And that has to be somehow uh, converges. So diverging rays has to converge. And in fact, like the one I showed Snell's law previously. So this ray goes in and bend toward the high refractive index. When it goes center, it doesn't change, but it goes this interface, it goes towards more high refractive index. That eventually means the light somehow converges and focuses in that. Likewise, the, the rays, the light coming from the bottom of this arrow, some initially diverges, but through this lens, it bends towards uh, this high refractive index and likewise, it will converge to a point. So it's a one-to-one -one mapping of this point images onto image plane. So this explains what we are seeing and recognizing outside of the world. The light has to focus down onto our retina in a spatially consistent manner and one-to-one -one manner. 